Hello guys, this is fairbinaryoptions.com, so let's write on the screen here what is the website, fairbinaryoptions.com. And uh, I would like to talk today about the Australian dollar, US dollar, as just like that or for whatever the reason, I really like the pair and I am quite, uh, quite, bullish, on, uh, quite bullish on it. This is the one hour chart on the on the Australian dollar US dollar and I would like to show you first of all what market did from these lows so from this spike lower here and let's try to mark it with a, with a horizontal line so this is point 9201 from the point 92 area this market jumped jumped to the upside here and I would say uh, we have a classical A and the B and the C here and then here we're forming a so-called contracting triangle now whenever you're looking at a contracting triangle everybody's looking at, uh, at the classical let's say A B C D E like this well that is correct this is being called a horizontal contracting triangle but what do you do when the B wave to the upside is the, um, let's say, um, the biggest one or longer than the previous wave. Well, in that scenario, that is being called an irregular, an irregular contract in triangle and price should go and do something like this. So I'm talking about a contract in triangle that starts from here and therefore we should analyze the move from the lows here and to these highs here like this let's make it uh, let's make it a bit bigger and like this and what do we what do we know that we know that this is the move to the upside so either it is an impulsive move here or a corrective move i would say is no impulsive move here but nevertheless it should be labeled probably like an uh, an a and the b and the c and this move here, I would say it is just an intervening move before another leg higher. So what I would like here to do is to point out the irregular uh, variation of a contract in triangle that I'm looking at. And this is being like this. A, B, C, D, E, and price should break higher. This is the pattern. Like any contract in triangle, it should be labeled with letters. So this to be wave A, this to be the B wave to the upside, this to be the C wave, A, B and C, the D wave, A, B, C, D, and E and like any contract in triangle this one is no different in the sense that it travels between the A and C like this and the B and D trend line until the market goes and breaks the BND trend. Now the, the same is happening here on the, uh, on the Australian dollar, US dollar with the, let's say, with the explanation being that from this moment of time we're looking at wave A, most likely done here or here, it doesn't really matter, so like this, A and then we have the B wave to the upside and then we have the C wave to the downside and the D wave and I would say that this is an E wave here and from this moment on to look for a break high now this should be our wave A this should be the B wave this should be the C wave of course the D wave 
and not to mention the E wave. So A, B, C, D, E, and then price should break higher. It travels between the A and C and B and D trend line. like this. It means that the B wave needs to end here, like this. And all eyes are going to be now at the moment when this trend line here is going to be broken. And that is point 93.67 where I would like to go and buy call options. Why? Because this consolidation pattern here looks to be a continuation pattern that comes of a price comes from here, from the downside here, form this consolidation area and then ready to pop uh, ready to pop higher. And I would like to uh, I would like to go and buy call options on point ninety three sixty. And it implies that of a bigger degree, normally this should be something like A, and the B wave. And the C wave all the way here because there is no impulsive move. A, B, C, and then whatever this triangle forms here, it is only an X wave. A, B, C, and then the X wave. And normally we should look for another A, B, C with point 0.94 being the target. So looking to buy call options here with end of week expiration date, we want to avoid, uh, let's say, um, a volatility surrounding, uh, surrounding this level. So buying call options with end of week expiration date for the Aussie is the recommendation here on fairbinaryoptions.com so that would be the arguments if you want for it irregular variation of a, of a contract in triangle looking for higher values thank you for being here this is fairbinaryoptions.com and all these analyses and recommendations are possible due to the help of our sponsor here, Lionai. Bye-bye.